Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne, the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Our guest co-host Jess Hilarious is here. I am. And let's get in some front page news. Good morning, Tiz. Good morning, DJ NV. Good morning to the Queen. Jess is back. Good morning, so glad babe. you're back. Thank you bring you, balance to the mothership, by the way. Thank and good you, morning, Charlemagne. Peace, Tiz. All right, let's yeah. jump right into it. Let's talk about this hurricane. Yeah, let's give a quick update on Hurricane Idalia, uh, which was briefly an extremely dangerous Category 4 storm. It weakened slightly Wednesday morning to Category 3 as it moved over the Gulf of Mexico towards Florida. Let's take a listen to the latest. At least two people are dead tonight as Hurricane Idalia leaves a path of destruction across Florida and slams Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. The video after landfall is stunning. Idalia hit Florida's Big Bend region as a Category 3 storm with maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. Tonight, hundreds of thousands of customers are still without power. We're hearing stories tonight of survival. Some residents who rode out the storm at home say they had to escape by swimming out of their windows. Mm -mm. The National Hurricane Center's advisory is just in. Idalia is now a tropical storm, but the risk of flooding, storm surge, and strong winds continues. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's so, so again, yeah, to our uh, family in Florida, you know, make sure, uh, you know, that you're doing all you can, you know, to protect yourself. I, I lived in Orlando for a long time. I, I text everybody yesterday and there's just always this thing, you know, people feeling like they just need to, you know, ride it out, you know, but you just never know how dangerous this can be. Uh, so, uh, again, do what you can to, uh, you know, look at all the precautions and make sure that you're staying safe as possible. I know this is the last thing on people's mind right now, but when it comes to those things, uh, do they give people insurance? Because I know sometimes in those areas, insurance companies won't insure certain things because this always happens. Uh, I wonder I wonder what happens in that case and will the government help those people out? Because a lot of times insurance won't cover fixing up their houses and cover fixing up you know, the, the, the property yeah. that was lost. I think it's harder if yeah. you buy the beach or something. I mm -hmm. think if you're inland, yeah. I think you get insurance. I think if you actually have a... A beach house is probably harder. Mm. Yeah, um, th there they are sending some federal aid down there. Uh, President Biden, you know, talked about how making sure you know they're sending the resources down. That's a great question. Uh, I, I used to, I remember Hurricane Andrew and uh, Geico actually pulled out mm. um, because of the devastation of what hurricane. So you do have house ins home insurance. People have home insurance. You have to have home insurance in order to you know have a mortgage on a home. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you're right. A lot of those uh, companies, you know, may not be able to have the adequate resources to get everything you need. They always look. All insurance companies, whether it's a car, house, or anything else, look for a reason not to pay something. Of course. Um, so, uh, you know, you just have to kind of hope that the government, you know, supports and, and backs up the things that you need. But yes, homes are insured. That, no, that was the, I know, no, I know home, homes are insured, but I know that was the big thing for New York, New Jersey, when that hurricane hit down here. That wasn't mm -hmm. expected, and there was some some insurance that they were getting around. Like you had to have hurricane insurance, or was some type sure, of sure. some type of hazardous insurance a, that people probably, didn't have. It's probably it's a, right because we probably, usually don't have it. You yeah, know, it's probably a specialized policy in those areas. Like right. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now let's they talk. try to get out of it, of course. But mm -hmm. yeah, you're right on, on that. But the, I, I remember Geico said we're just totally getting out of uh, the uh, homeowners business, you know, in that area after it was such a big loss, and it happened with Hurricane Katrina as well. Wow. Now let's talk about Mitch McConnell fast. Yeah, this is quick. Uh, again, uh, he froze up again. Uh, Senator Republican leader Mitch McConnell briefly froze up and was unable to answer a question after a reporter at an event in Kentucky, uh, you know, asked him would he seek reelection in 2026. Uh, he just kind of stood there for 10 seconds. And this is the second time, you know, that he's done this. <laughs> I, thought he was, I thought he was thinking about it. That was a long thing. That was a long thought. That was a long ponder. Uh, so it was about ten seconds. You know, aide uh, went in front of him and asked, you know, did uh, did he hear the question? Did the need repeated? Did he want to walk off with him? And he just kind of stood there in silence. And again, you know, when are we going to really have this discussion about age uh, without mm. trying to make it an ageism issue, or it just might just be a health issue? But there's clearly, you know, something going on. Clearly, yeah. this is the second time. Or yeah, an evaluation, I, I, like like mm -hmm. an evaluation, it needs to be like a mental analysis or what you know anything like if you're going up. You know, and, and for any type of, uh, you know, running office. for anything, mm -hmm. office, anything mm -hmm. like that, you should actually go to the doctor to get checked out, like, to see they do, exactly they? what's going on, though. Don't I, they? Obviously, obviously not. Obviously not. No, mm. they can't, you know. Nah, obviously not. This is the second time there's a problem. And when, nah. and when she went up there to speak to him, he still didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's a matter of age as much as it's a matter of uh, cognitive decline. 
You know, age yeah. may, age may not always play a role, but if you got visible right. cognitive cognitive decline, you gotta go. What, what is it? Cognitive decline. Okay. Yeah, okay. If you got visible cognitive decline. Yeah, you gotta go. You know, some words right? he struggled. Yeah, he struggled with that at first. Right. Yeah. He got it though. And, and it should be like a referee in a ring. We shouldn't mm-hmm. wait for them to walk out. Like somebody got to stop the fight. Like somebody. Yeah. Like, so, she yeah. should have stopped that yesterday. She should have walked him off instead of having him come back. She should have just walked him off. Man, I'm talking about walking him out of office, oh, walking yeah. him out of position. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, again, just point again to uh, just make it. Uh, fair on both sides a democrat you know senator diane feinstein remember we recorded that she mm-hmm. literally somebody had to tell her how to vote mm-hmm. because she was just to- in a totally yeah. different place wow. so like at some point guys come on i mean this, this is just but let's just say this hopefully we all get an opportunity to age you know that's yeah. a blessing of course. so regardless of political party you know it's just sad you know watching yeah. somebody yeah. just decline like that and mm-hmm. where's the family like what mm-hmm. what's going on but uh, i i'll say a lot of these guys they don't want to leave this position that's this right. is been yeah. their life you know for yeah. 40 50 years and the ego and the pride just will not let them walk away and that yep. is a, that is a problem that and you know i know we got to go but yeah and, and for some people that's that's what keeps them alive like right. that, like mm. going to work every day and 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 doing that, it, it keeps them alive, and they feel like they need tattoo to stay alive, you know. Right. All right. Well, that is front page news. We'll see you in a, li- mm-hmm. a little bit, Tiz. Now get it mm-hmm. off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, phone lines are wide open again. 800-585-1051. And Jess hilarious is here. I am y'all. So get it off your chest with me. Mr. Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Jess Hilarious is here with hey us, of y'all. course. Hey y'all. And let's get in some front page news. Good morning, Tiz. Good morning, DJ Envy. Good morning, Queen Jess. Hey, girl. Charlemagne the God. Peace, hey. Tiz. Now let's jump right into it. Giuliani, he loses a, a defamation lawsuit. Yeah, he lost it by default. A federal judge determined that Rudy Giuliani has lost his defamation lawsuit from two Georgia election workers. You guys remember uh, Miss Freeman, the elder uh, black woman yep. and her daughter uh, against him after he failed to provide information sought in subpoenas. Now, the decision could lead to significant penalties uh, for him. And in court in recent weeks, Giuliani said he can no longer contest that he made false and uh False statements about Ms. Ruby, uh, because bo- bottom line, you did, sir. We all saw you do it. Uh, he was one of the only group of uh, one of the only groups of plaintiffs suing him uh, for those comments. He said he struggled to maintain access to the electronic records, uh, partly because of the cost. He said he didn't have enough time to respond. The judge said, you know, I'm not going for it. You're an attorney yourself, basically, you know, summarizing it and said, you know, bottom line is you didn't uh, comply with what they asked, what the judge asked for. So uh, they won that suit and will be going to trial so well deserved you know he sent all those trolls to to these people you know this story just really disgusts me it's one thing you know we're used to getting that type of vitriol you know but Mm -hmm. to have uh Rudy Giuliani and and Donald Trump you know say that uh the these women you know uh defrauded America and and sent all those folks it really affected their life in a major way so they deserve everything um that they get in that suit Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's over for Trump and all his cronies, man. I feel like the ship has sailed. It, it, it's time for the Republican Party to move away from all forms of Trumpism and all Trumpers and all Trump supporters and allies. Like, if you want to get your party back and bring back that GOP that they knew before Trump, it's time to distance yourself from all these criminals. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. that's what they are, a bunch yeah. of criminals. And I think people are picking up that message. Uh, as a side note, Nikki Haley has surged. Uh, you know, in the polls as well in Iowa, where where it really counts since that debate, and the and the in the the consensus is uh, that she made a lot of sense at the debate. Uh, both Democrats and Republicans, even Democrats, are pushing for Nikki Haley because they just want some sensibility, you know, back yeah. back into politics. So mm-hmm. I'll be watching to see what what's going to happen with her campaign. And Trump standing in the in the Republican presidential primary race dropped dropped just a little in the polls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after mm-hmm. the after the debate that mm-hmm. he didn't show up for. Mm-hmm. Now, now let's talk about Yale University. Yeah, Charmaine, I I pulled this story for you. Uh, You got your mental health uh, expo coming up. The caller just called in about mental health. So this story is right on time. Yale University and a student group announced that they've reached a settlement in a federal lawsuit that accused the Ivy League school of discriminating against students with mental health disabilities, including pressuring them to withdraw. Now, under the agreement, Yale will modify its policies regarding medical leaves of absence, including streamlining the reinstatement process for students who return to campus. Student group, which also represents a alumni have urged, have argued that the process uh, was discouraging students for decades from taking medical leave when they needed it most. Hmm. So what did they get in the settlement? 
um, basically, uh, they're going to be able to, uh, you know, get some some policies and procedures that says, you know, if you need to take a mental health break or, you know, how long do you have? But there is some some fine print that's saying, you know, they have to get it confirmed by a doctor, you know, to actually say that it's a mental health problem. But uh, bottom line is in simple terms, they were telling students, suck it up, you know, and, and continue to go to class regardless of what's going on mentally. So this is wow. good for those students. You know, that's, that's crazy. How, that's how it always is how it's always been, though. Yeah, it's crazy. In two thousand twenty-three, people still not taking folks' mental uh, yeah. mental health serious. But I think I think all jobs and schools should allow people to take mental health breaks, whether it's ten minutes, uh, an hour. And the reason I say that is, if you really think about it, right? Whether it's a, a day, if you mm-hmm. no, no, I'm, I'm gonna say this because if you're a cigarette smoker, think about it like this: mm-hmm. if you're a cigarette smoker, they give you what 10, 10 minutes, fifteen minutes to go downstairs and smoke a yeah. cigarette. Well, not mm-hmm. for the cigarette specifically, but but it allows you to smoke cigarettes. But it's a smoke yeah. break. It's a no, smoke break. Some, some of them do yeah. literally for cigarettes specifically. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah, so now yeah. if you don't smoke cigarettes. Mm-hmm. We don't have a break, and we can't go outside. We can't even. We can't say, you know, I'm going outside on the phone because then right. it, it, people will be like, oh, you're not working. Mm-hmm. But you could take a smoke break for 15 minutes. Yeah, they, they should allow people mental breaks, whether it's 15 yeah. minutes an hour, to just to clear their mind and reset. Well, I know the yeah. jobs that got cocaine breaks. They don't like you to lose your desk because you could do coke right on your desk. Yeah, well, then coke that's don't the stop you from doing nothing. Though, jobs so. with cocaine that's break. That's the White House. Uh, they do the cocaine break. White it's House, just FYI with that envy. That's mm-hmm. a great idea. Just want to shout out uh, the state of Oklahoma. Some of their jobs uh, actually do that. And, and in fact, the disabilities office in Oklahoma, they actually have mental health breaks. So you're mm-hmm. allowed to, you know, every hour or so go out and they encourage you to walk outside. They also have desks that you can stand up. You yeah. know, they put the pull the desks up so you can stand up and mm-hmm. make sure, you know, that that your your posture is good. And so they oh, really wow. have wrapped around the concept of, uh, of mental health. So that is happening. Hopefully it can happen in some more. Um, Yes. Well. The, the only thing I will say about the mental health breaks, I have seen some people abuse yeah. the mental yes. health breaks just because they got caught not doing their job. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they got caught not doing something they were supposed mm-hmm. to be doing and they be right. like, I need a mental health break. I need a mental health break. Yeah. It's like you always get caught not doing what you're supposed right, to be right, doing. Right, right, right. You know? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that is front page news. Thank you, Tesla. Uh huh. Absolutely. I love when Jess act like she care. Yo, she listen. She just say something. She, she, she look yeah, at yeah. me and do her Yo. hand like this. She be like, yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, nobody they, can fake care like <laughs> Jess Hilarious. Let me tell you something. They be so mad in the comments like, "Yo, she don't know nothing about politics." I don't need to. And we don't know nothing either. He just likes to <laughs> oh, like. Just, I mean? No, you have a better concern. <laughs> even don't you know nothing. <laughs> You'll do that. I just, I don't know how to be like, oh my God, really? You know what I'm just saying? Don't say that, just, just not right. Right. But that's why we got Tez and Sean. That's why we got Tez and Sean. That's, that's right. right. I that's don't it. know nothing either. I just ask questions. Yeah, right. You know something. And make statements. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, when we come back, Fat Joe will be joining us. Uh, yesterday, he stopped through on a surprise and dropped off his new kicks. We got a chance to chop it up with him for a little bit. So we're going to get with Fat Joe when we come back. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.